and this is something about acting, the actor's use of space too. So you'll notice that, and if you've seen it, you'll notice that there is that frame and there's a break stage. What, what challenges and opportunities does it offer both directing and, and working as an actor in that George doesn't, he tends to sit in front, but on that stage, that which is essential, I suppose, like the frame of the painting, it, it serves two purposes. One, we needed, as I said, this compartmentalisation. And the original one, where we had unlimited budget, which is in your head, is that it had a second level as well, um, so that you were able to use up there. Thank God it didn't end up having that, because it would have been extremely difficult. If you look at the original painting, you'll see that the sweep of the, um, the, sweep of the water reflects, to a certain extent, the staircase. <gasps> Did you notice that? Yeah. Nice. So it's got, that, it's got that sweep to it. I, as a big old music theatre queen that I am, I wanted to have, a, for me, the most amazing music in the night is that first moment where you get the horn theme for the first time. Bum, ba, ya, da, da, ya, da, 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 da. I mean, it's extremely sensual, wonderful music. And what we've created is a, as an entrance for the girl, and you can't have an entrance without a staircase. <laughs> so that's where that came from in purely superficial terms. Okay, um, and the reason we have a rake, the reason we have a rake is one, it thrusts things, strange enough, forward into the house. That is less of a problem in this theatre because everybody sits above the stage. The real reason that the rake is there is because if you try and have a look at the original painting, the perspective is so all over the shop. It just doesn't make sense at all. So we needed to be able to get the soldier, uh, Louis, uh, Yvonne and yeah, the little child, all of those people up so that they approximated as much as we possibly could the false perspective of the painting. Hence the reason it's such a shallow rake as mm -hmm. well, so that you can move very, uh, in, in a couple of steps, you can be very high or low. Mm -hmm. that's, that's where it came from. Mm -hmm. Now. No, I mean, <laughs> and that's brilliant, but uh, for the actor, it's hard. There, there are challenges, yeah. Um, your centre of balance is really thrown. You're wearing period costumes, corsets, bustles, petticoats, Victorian heels on a slippery rake. <laughs> so, you know, you got to make sure you're warmed up properly. Um, it's very easy to fall over. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, and, you know, you have to make it work for you too. Um, give it a purpose. You know, I, I imagine that when I'm doing my lesson that I'm kind of sitting on a little hill and I can spread out my dress and look coquettish and, you know. And that's what, and she's in the painting. You see yeah. in that too when she says, there she is, there she is, there she is. And indeed, there she was. In yeah, that so, you know, making it work for you as well and understanding the challenge. The company were really great with us as well and we had the, ra the rake, the whole rehearsal period, um, which, which doesn't always happen. Um, and is, is really important for you to get used to it because not only when you're you're acting but when you're actually dealing with a singing technique as well um, if you're not used to it and you're spending an awful lot of time up there it can really throw that center of gravity which you need as Chrissy said out I've got a question actually um, in uh, you would notice there's a scene where, where Chrissy is recreating the powder, the woman powdering herself the very famous Sarah painting of that and George is on the other side of what ostensibly is gauze, how connected are you to that? Because that, that to, to the painting? Um, it's, it's tricky because, I mean, we, we've actually discussed it, you know, when you, the, the gauze itself is probably two feet away from me and away from specifically where I'm placing the painting. I, oh, I think by the time you get out into the house, it probably looks like I'm much closer yeah. or I'm actually on the canvas. Um, so it's it's hard because whilst I, I need to be aware, I can't actually see what is on the front by the time the lights behind the gauze have come up. So it throws a few challenges there. You know, I'm familiar with what is there, obviously. But um, we then have the, the 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 lighting is located in such location in, in the only spots that it can because it's got to take into that structure and take into the stairs. So when you, you're being lit in very narrow channels and that stuff that we've had to deal with in scenes as well, and anybody does when you're on stage, if you've got side lighting, you need to be aware of where your partner is and where your light, your partner's light is and if am I in the way of it, etc. So we, we, it took us a little while to find that the, the, the right space, the distance for me, which is probably about a foot and a half to two feet away, with me, my face in such proximity to the the painting that both I'm lit and the brush is lit and it looks like I'm interacting with the gauze that's two feet away from me. So it's 
it's one of those sort of technical challenges that you just have it's not to work as organic with, as you, you think it's yeah. no, it's <laughs> and then you're on a lake you're on a rake so you're kind of surfing a little bit and all sorts of stuff you know yeah and interesting when it, next time you get on a tram uh you know how they have the the um paintings on the outside of trams and you, you can see that that's exactly the same material that we've used for this it's a plastic with little holes in it. Um, the product, this is the amazing thing about technology now. In the old days, like indeed when, when this was first created, all of that painting, the, paint, the painting itself, took a long time for scenic artists, as you can imagine, to try and recreate that. We were able to digitally print it, as you would now any, any um, uh, billboard, and it was one, very quick, and two, very cheap. So and, and it's, the, it, the it materials looks, for the costume are all digitally printed. Yeah, the right? materials for the costumes are uh, Anna, the one, and accordingly the designer, uh, did colour ranges in each of the um, uh, in each of the ranges that Sarah used. Also, you will notice that it's much brighter in our production than the actual painting <laughs> is. That's because the yellow pigment, in particular, has degraded very badly over the, the hundred years or so, and the actual original painting was much more vibrant. These ones remain vibrant because there's no yellow used in them, mm. or very little except for the, the greens down the bottom, but even those are greeny blues. But the yellow pigment apparently from the time was, has been the thing that's been most degraded. Mm.